Recently, a new function was rolled out to Firefox Suggest, a function built into the Firefox browser that has some people a little bit angry. So is Mozilla now tracking all of the key presses you type into your address bar, selling them to ad companies, and the world is crumbling around you? Well, the world is still crumbling around you, but that has nothing to do with Mozilla. So Firefox Suggest has been a feature in Firefox at least for a couple of months now. Normally, when you search for something in your browser, let's say I search for Amazon, on. You'll have a link that matches, and if we can't find the link that matches, we'll then go on to doing search suggestions. That is a pretty standard feature. Basically, every web browser does this. Under that, though, we have the Firefox Suggest section. So this is going to try to match it on something that may not necessarily be what you're typing, but other things in your history, your bookmarks, or your open tabs that might match what you're searching for. So if I have, say, like, Amazon open here, and if I search for Amazon here, here, as we'll see in uh, just a bit, we can actually jump directly to that tab. This feature was available back in Firefox 92, but back then wasn't enabled by default for every single user. I actually did have the feature enabled because I was, I guess, opted into, I didn't opt in myself to the study that they were actually testing out this feature and a lot of other people did actually see the feature then. So the way that Mozilla refers to these as is as contextual suggestions. So these are suggestions based on the context of what you're searching for. And personally, I don't have any issue with that part of it. It might be annoying in some cases, especially with the way they're going to be handling in future updates, but I think that's fine. The problem that a lot of people have, though, is this last part. So if you search for something like, say, Amazon, or you search for eBay, it's going to show you a sponsored result. Like in the case when Brave was doing this with Binance links, this is going to be funding the development of the browser. The reason I'm not angry here is because they are very, very clearly marking this as being sponsored, and off to the right-hand side, it'll explain like why Firefox Suggest is even doing this, and what Firefox Suggest is even in the first place. That, I think, is perfectly fine. The problem I have is both the contextual suggestions and also the sponsored results are opt out. If it was just this, I probably wouldn't have made a video. The reason why I'm making this is there's a couple of articles, most notably from How To Geek, completely misrepresenting the way Firefox Suggest actually works, and are saying that when you type something in your address bar, all of those keystrokes are being sent back to Mozilla, and that's the way Firefox Suggest actually functions. This is completely inaccurate. That feature can be enabled, but by default, it isn't, and Firefox just operates in an offline mode, comparing against a list of known sponsored URLs, which will probably be updated every single time there's an update to Firefox. So, Firefox just can operate in one of three modes, and looking at the Firefox source code, we can go and see what those modes are. We have history, offline, and online. So history is the way Firefox just has been working back in Firefox 92. This will just compare against your history, your bookmarks, your open tabs, and not make any extra suggestions outside of that data set. In offline mode though, it's going to compare against the same stuff as history, along with an offline data set of the sponsored websites, so Amazon, eBay, things like that. Obviously, it can't have the most up-to-date sponsors, but when they're just using an affiliate code like that, there's no reason why that can't just be in an offline data set. But also, it's going to be using trusted partner websites. So, you may have never been to something like Wikipedia, but you search for something like Australia, and Australia's Wikipedia page might be suggested. But then in online mode, this is going to include all the same stuff as before, but also a live updated list. So you might have, say, like an ad there that is only going to be there for a couple of days. Let's say it's a sale on something, or maybe they have some sort of sponsored link that stays there for a week or two weeks or something like that. All of that stuff is going to be available in online mode, but also online mode is going to allow you to opt in to sending your key presses to Mozilla to basically improve the way that Firefox Suggest actually works. When you have online mode enabled, before it starts sending key presses back to Mozilla, it's going to show you a prompt that looks like this saying, hey, here is what suggestions are, learn more about them here. It is a bit of a coercive interface, but it's basically what I would expect. It's 
good enough that you can decide, okay, I don't want that to happen. So right now, this feature is only supposed to be available in the US. So I have tried to force online mode to actually work, and I haven't managed to actually do so. I have managed to force the sponsored links to show, so I'm not sure what I am doing wrong, but as it stands, this is only being tested in the US. So the results you have here and the sponsored links you have are gonna make sense if you live in America, but I don't exactly want to be going to the American version of eBay. I want the Australian version. I don't want the American version of Amazon. I want the Australian version. So stuff like that still needs to be sorted out. And then when that is, it's going to be rolled out to the rest of the world. And it's also going to include things like weather and things like that that will make sense in those different regions. As I mentioned before, Mozilla isn't really hiding anything here. They even have an entire blog post about it, but one thing they are being slightly misleading about is they say they do not share information with their trusted partners. Now, that may be true in the case of things like Wikipedia and other things like that. For their trusted partners directly, sure, you don't share information with them. But when it comes to the sponsored links... They don't exactly have any control about that. So when you go to Amazon, it uses the Amazon affiliate link. When you go to eBay, it uses the eBay affiliate link. So if you go and buy something on that site, that is going to be shared with both the seller, so Amazon or eBay, and also Mozilla's account with those sites. That's not to say that Mozilla is doing anything with the information, not at all. But it is a little bit misleading to make it seem like when you go to one of these links, nothing identifying is being shared. That's not something Mozilla has any control over. They can say it, they can proxy all they want, but at the end of the day, they do not control how much information Amazon, eBay, any other sellers actually collect. One very important point to get across is the only time it is going to use their sponsored link is if you go and explicitly click on it. So if we go directly to Amazon.com, it is not going to go and redirect us to their sponsored link instead. This is the way that it should work, and I hope they do not change it. Never ever do a redirect when the user does not want to do it. Now with all that in mind, I really don't want to see ads in my address bar. Luckily, it's very easy to fix. So the easiest way to do so is to go into your settings, go down to privacy and security, scroll down to where it says address bar Firefox suggest, and you can control each of the individual suggestions in here. So browsing history, bookmarks, open tabs, shortcuts, search engines, all of that stuff was there back in Firefox 92. And then the 93 stuff is contextual suggestions and include occasional sponsored suggestions. So if you still want to see things like, hey, I searched for Australia, I have never been to Wikipedia, but I still want to see the Wikipedia results, go and leave that enabled. If you don't want to see the ads though, go and disable this one. But let's say you want to completely get rid of the option so it can't even be enabled. We can do that as well by going into our about config. This is where we can go and set various variables for what Firefox can actually do. And if we go and search for browser.urlbar.com, quick suggest, there's a couple of things in here we can go and modify. If you want to completely disable contextual suggestions, go and set enabled to be false. And then if we go and search for something, let's say Amazon, now everything in here is going to be based on our search history and doesn't include any of the sponsored stuff. Or if it was working, the, uh, you know, the, the Wikipedia stuff and all that sort of stuff like that. But if you just want to have this enabled, but only have it work based on your history, that can be done by setting this value right here, the scenario value to be history instead. This is a effectively the same result as just going and disabling it and we'll actually go and disable it for you. However, if it's just the Firefox just label you want to get rid of, that can be done by going back a bit and searching instead for group labels and setting this value right here to be false. So if I search for something now, as you can see, the Firefox just label is no longer there and it's all being treated as one big group. So as we've seen today, Firefox Suggest really isn't that bad. Sure, having ads in your address bar is really, really annoying, but they are well marked. It should, however, still be opt-in because 
No one wants ads in their address bar. I know that Mozilla is trying to fund the operation somehow and stop being a Google sub brand, but I don't know if anyone using Firefox wants ads in their address bar. I'm sure there are other ways this could be done that aren't as annoying. Let me know your thoughts on Firefox Suggest in the comment section down below. Are you going to leave it enabled? Do you like having ads in your address bar? Let me know your thoughts. So if you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon subscribe, Sir Only Bearer Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays where I live stream twice a week, upload about five or so YouTube shorts, and this channel is also available over on Odyssey. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.